Good evening, student athletes, coaches, parents, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 2020-2021 Hogwash District High School Athletic Awards. My name is Dan McDonald, and I am the athletic director here at PDHS. And tonight, I will be your MC for this video. Once again, due to public health restrictions, we are celebrating our annual athletic awards virtually. Despite the challenges we faced this year, in true Panther fashion, we rolled up our sleeves and overcame. This video is to celebrate all of our student athletes, coaches, parents, and volunteers on another great year of athletics here at PDHS. It is a night to celebrate the successes of all of our athletes, as well as our teammates and our coaches. It was a difficult year with ever-changing public health restrictions causing game, season, and sport interruptions, postponements, and outright cancellations. However, due to an excellent group of coaches and sport staff and dedicated athletes, we were able to offer a full slate of sport opportunities for our students to be physically active and successful through sport. We all know the benefit that sport delivers to one's physical health, but in times like these, sport delivered much more, creating a sense of normalcy, which was much needed for the mental health of our students. Before we get started with the team awards, I would like to give a heartfelt thank you to the staff of PDHS, our coaches, our community members, and our athletes for again believing in the vision for this athletic program. Our athletic program continues to be one that develops excellent leaders and continually punches well above our weight class. Thank you to our local businesses for their continual support of our students and our school. I take great pride in saying I teach in Pugwash, and I am beyond excited to have found a permanent home in this gymnasium to continue to grow our Panther Athletic Program for years to come. Another huge thank you needs to go out to all of our team coaches and staff advisors. Without these community-minded people, our athletic program would not be possible. In sport, it truly takes a village. So again, on behalf of our school and Panther athletes, thank you. Now to our team awards. We will start our team awards with our first team to compete in the red and black, our golf team. Thank you to Coach Lou White for once again stepping forward to coach our junior and senior tick golf teams at the NSSAF Regional Championship. Our lowest round was carded by Ian Tilt, who is the winner of our lowest score award. Congratulations, Ian. Our next sport profiled in this video is our cross country running team, coached by Mrs. Hogan and myself. Our Panther cross country runners had a very successful season. They continually lowered personal bests, challenging themselves on a difficult course in a difficult condition at regionals. Our cross country team award winners are as follows. Our top male runner, Dylan Law. The top female runner, Caden Steves. Coach's Choice Award, James Nesbitt. And the cross country rookie of the year, Jesse Trenner. Our next sport profile is our soccer program. This year, due to COVID regulations, junior high soccer in Cumberland County was practice only. In our school, we were fortunate to have two training groups working on their skills, even though student athletes knew they weren't going to see any game action this season. That not only speaks highly of the character of these young players, but bodes well for the future of our program as a whole. Our junior coaches, Coach Brunt and Coach McEachern, wanted to award two players for their dedication this season. Congratulations to Olivia Brown and Gavin McEachern, who are our winners uh, for this team. <laughs> Moving along to our senior girls soccer team, coached by Richard Wilson and Hiro Ozawa. Uh, the senior girls team showed tremendous heart and improvement all season, playing many games with minimal or no bench players. Finishing the Cumberland County League play in second place, our girls narrowly missed regional qualification this season. Our team, however, returns the majority of players and with an influx of young talent moving up from our junior program, the future looks bright for next season. Before our team awards, I wanted to once again thank Coach Richard Wilson for his years of service to PDHS Athletics and wish him well as he retires from our program. For their team awards, they have Cole Most Valuable Players, and that goes to Olivia Wilson and Megan Ozawa. Top offensive player, Ming Sanderson. Top defensive player, Chloe Miller. 
Coach's Choice Award, Gracie Spencer, and the Senior Girls Rookie of the Year, Marina Allen. On the senior boys side, our team, coached once again by Justin Brunel, uh, finished first in the Cumberland County League play, but unfortunately saw their season end early as they were upset in the playoffs. Uh, for their team awards, most valuable player, Cameron Purdy. Top offensive player, Ian Tilly. Top defensive player, Dylan Long. Coach's Choice Award, Sahib Nagra. Rookie of the Year for our senior boys soccer team, Alush Mohammed. Our next sport will be volleyball, and this year saw the return of junior girls volleyball uh, at PDHS. We are very fortunate to have uh, PDHS athletics alumni, uh, Maria Dinesville, at the helm coaching this team. Uh, our team consisted of all grade seven players, uh, and they showed great improvement from the start of the season to the end. Their team awards are as follows. Most valuable player went to Captain Kelsey Keeler. And the most improved player this year, Sachin Nagra. <laughs> Next up is our senior girls team, coached by Wendy Ferdinand and Donna Vandenberg. Uh, for the second year in a row, our senior uh, volleyball team uh, played most of their regional qualifying games against Division One and Two teams in our area. Um, and this allowed our girls to really hone their skills against some of the best players and teams in the region. Uh, as the only girls volleyball team in Cumberland County, our girls played their regional play-in tournament against teams from Colchester County. There, they finished third and narrowly missed uh, qualifying for the regional championships. The team will be handing out the following awards. Co-most valuable players, Grace Elliott and Bailey Ferdinand. The Heart and Soul Award, Jessica Brandon. Coach's Choice Award, Brooklyn Hibbert. And the Rookie of the Year for the Senior Girls Volleyball Team, Paige Thompson. <laughs> Moving along to our largest winter sport, basketball. Uh, this was a difficult year uh, overall for our, our basketball program. Uh, with public health restrictions changing multiple times, causing game interruptions and uncertainty uh, for players and coaches, uh, as well as, as the fact that no parents or spectators were allowed in the gym, which, which really uh, was disappointing for, for a lot of our teams. Uh, we will start with our junior girls team, coached by Taylor Mattinson and Adam Blair. Our junior girls basketball team had a great season, focusing on skills and development, and they're only losing two players, so the future is bright for this team. Uh, for their team awards, most valuable player, Ryan Patrick. Heart and Hustle Award, Savannah Smith. And Rookies of the Year, Ava Vanderkoy and Chloe uh, Fabian. On the junior boys side, our team coached by Joy Stevens and Caleb LeBlanc showed tremendous growth and improvement as well throughout the season. Returning all players for next season, our junior boys are primed for a big 2021-2022. For their team awards, Most Valuable Player, Wesson Pollard. Heart and Hustle Award, Ethan Gullins. And Rookie of the Year, Jimmy Day. Moving to our senior girls team, uh, our senior girls team also entered a, a rebuilding season with only two grade 12 players returning to the roster this year. Despite a lengthy no game period, this group battled hard and improved tremendously. For their team awards, they will be handing out a new award in memory of former provincial championship winning coach and PDHS phys ed teacher, David Reed. Coach Reed unfortunately passed away earlier this year, but his passion, commitment to excellence, and love of family and basketball live on with this award. The first David Reed Memorial 3D Award recipient is Taylor Peterson. Congratulations, Taylor. <laughs> Moving along to our senior boys team, coached by Vincent Pye, Angela Stewart, and Luke Morrison. This was certainly a different year for Coach Pye and his team. Unable to travel their usual game schedule, our boys had to stay closer to home and renew some old rivalries with local teams. 
Finishing first in Cumberland County, our boys traveled to Hans North for the regional final, where they lost a hard-fought nail-biter of the game. Coach Pye does not hand out team awards, but wanted to single out his graduating players. Ian Tilton, Cameron Purdy, AJ Cunningham, and Hassoum Muhammad for all their work over the last three and four years, respectively. Our final sport to be profiled in the video is badminton. Our team was another large contingent, despite COVID-19 rule changes, which limited roster size. Our team challenged themselves throughout the lead-up phase and into district and regional plans. Our team hands out the following awards. Most Improved Junior High Player, Zach Higgins. Most Improved Intermediate Player, Olivia Foy. Most Improved Senior Player, George Wallace. Our Top Performer, Dylan Long. And the Tanya Larson Memorial Award goes to Kaysen Ferdinand. Unfortunately, this is where our sport calendar was ended this year. Both softball and track and field had just started their training, but needed to be shut down to help wipe out the third wave. Our track team was able to train for a little over a month and won a two award, a leadership award, to Hunter Starr for everything he has contributed to the team culture over the last number of years. Hunter was our only grade 12 on the team this year and displayed leadership traits that will help him next year at RMC. Thanks again to everyone for turning in to video number one uh, in our PDHS Athletic Awards. Our next and final video will be posted uh, on Thursday, June 24th, uh, and will feature our major awards, which are the NSSAF Scholar Athlete, the NSSAF Good Sport Recipients, the NSSAF Exemplary Participation and Coach Service Award, as well as the PDHS Athletic Athletes of the Year. See you on Thursday, Panthers.